Okay, sorting algorithms. Last time we did bubble sort, today we're going to do quick sort. Like the name implies, this is a quick sorting algorithm. It has an average complexity of n log n, which is way better than bubble sorts n squared. So basically this algorithm picks an element in the array and calls it the pivot. pivot. Any values less than the pivot are placed on the left and any values greater than are placed on the right. This means that the pivot will be in its correct position, then the numbers either side of the pivot are broken into mini arrays, and then recursion works its magic. Now, I seem to always mess up recursive algorithms, so this should be interesting. There's two different quicksort methods, the Lamuto partition scheme and the Hor partition scheme. We use the Lamuto method. I don't really know where to start with this, so I'm just gonna copy the pseudocode into processing. Quick sort our array from low to high. If low is less than high, partition the array and quick sort from low to partition minus one and again from partition plus one to high. Okay, that was the recursive bit. Now we just need to write the partition. Pivot equals high, the last element in the array i equals low, then we have this j loop that iterates through the array and swaps i with j if j is less than the pivot. Then we swap i with high and return i. Let's run this. Of course it didn't work, that'd be too easy. Array out of bounds. Oh, this needs to be heights dot length minus one because the array starts at zero. <laughs> Still nothing. It's tripping out. Hey, I've been working on this all day. I'm using a more efficient way to pick the pivot rather than just using the value at the end of the array. The rest of it is pretty much the same as before, but I increment the pivot index. What is this? It's so close, but so far. Oh, it looks almost sorted. I have no idea what I'm doing. 12 o'clock midnight. It's the middle of the night and I'm still working on this damn sorting algorithm. I pretty much deleted everything and started again. This time I watched a coding train video and I tried to copy exactly what Dan did. I'll link that video below if you're interested. Oh, you've got to be kidding me. How can it still not work? Oh, I don't think this is supposed to be here. Yes! Let's make it bigger. We'll just keep 10xing it until it breaks. That one took some time. Wow, bubble sort would have taken forever to do that. That was a hundred thousand elements. Okay, it's a few days later. Now it's time to fix the problem that 
we aren't getting this thing to animate. It goes from sorted to unsort. Sorry, it goes from unsorted to sorted in one step. That's because once quick sort gets called from the draw loop, the whole array is then sorted before we go back into draw again. A way around this would be to have a second array that keeps track of all the changes that have been made to the first array. The second array would basically be a log of what changes have happened to the first array and in what order. Then we can use the draw loop to draw the second array, I called mine sorted, and then we can just see what changes are happening throughout time. I tried using processing's expand function and the append function to dynamically grow the array as needed, but I couldn't get it to work how I wanted, so what I ended up doing was just making a stupidly big array that's empty at the start of the script, and then we fill it as we go. That was a bit quick to see much. We'll increase the array size to 200. That looks like it's working. You can sort of see how the quicksort algorithm works. Yeah, so the problem with making a second array is that it keeps track of all the changes, so it needs to be ridiculously massive, so it's only viable for visualizing sorting small arrays. See that it didn't sort the last few? The array must have run out of room. Okay, so we successfully visualized an array size of a thousand. That's not too bad. Okay, just for fun, I put the quick sort and bubble sort side by side so we can compare them. We're quick sorting an array of a thousand and bubble sorting an array of 30. See you next time.